So we're starting off today sanitizing stakes. These are for the high tunnel. Some of these are actually old and we're not gonna use them from last year. We got new ones, which Frank is sanitizing right now. But just in case something isn't right or they're not gonna work, we're gonna keep these and sanitize them just for now. How it works is we fill up a 50 gallon drum with water and then we mix our jet ag, which is like oxidate with the water. It's kind of like a sanitizing agent. And then we let them sanitize for 10 minutes on one side, flip the stakes around, which he's doing right now for another 10 minutes. And then they'll go on our wagon here and then they'll be ready for the high tunnel to be staked in and tied up. All these ones here are for the lower high tunnel. Like I said, those are the new ones. And then up there on the back side of the newer high tunnel, you can see we have another pile of them. I'm gonna bring them down right now. If the stakes are real dirty or have a lot of diseases on them, what'll happen is the water will actually foam up. Kind of like hydrogen peroxide does when you put it on a wound on your finger. But because these are new and there really isn't anything on them, the water is basically just clear. Here we are now the next day. I got caught up in the greenhouses yesterday watering, so I couldn't video much. And today I'm gonna kind of be doing the same, but we have market on Saturday. Today is Thursday. So right now we're trying to get the new market truck which we purchased last year, ready and organized because this will be the first time we've ever taken it to the plant market. If you remember my videos from back in the summer, you'll know that we got those racks and they're really nice. We actually use them for vegetables, but now we're gonna hopefully be able to use them for the plants. It's just a lot of trying to figure and it's a lot different than the yellow van because when we had the yellow van, we used these wooden racks and it was just what we've done for years and years, so it was always easy, but now we're trying to get stuff figured out and change it up because we can get a lot more on now, but we want it to be organized so that it's easy when we get to market and we can unload fast. Besides watering and getting ready for market, dad, you can see him right there on the tractor, is getting ready to start tilling the fields. He's actually got the sprayer on right now. He's gonna kill it. Then he's gonna go in with the plows and plow it. And then it won't be too long. We'll probably be planting onions. In the seed room, all the vine crops that me and Sammy got planted are just starting to come up now. You can see them right here. Right here, these are the tasty greens. And I've seen a couple others. I've seen like one or two on bush crop, one or two down here in the market more. And if we have a nice sunny day, I'm hoping that by the end of today, most of them should be up. So I'm gonna start off today by planting some red beets. Now red beets are kind of like dill. So how I'm gonna do it is, I've got my 12 packs of four, which is a 1204. And then I'm gonna kind of recess that dirt down in there a little bit, just by kind of dropping the flat. That looks pretty good. I don't know if you can really see that. But it dropped about a quarter to a half an inch. So now I can take my red beet seeds. And I've actually never done this before, but Dad has. And you can see how small the seeds are. We like to put about 15 to 20 in each cell. Something like that. So I'm just gonna take the bag and slowly dribble them in. Might be getting a little too many. And to my idea, that's what it should look like. I got a couple seeds up on the edge here, I gotta pop down in. This one right here is a little bit light, but this one right here is quite a bit. Sometimes I'll just take and drop a couple more in. Now I can bring it in the seed room here to where I put the vermiculite on. And just do a kind of like a generous covering of vermiculite. I'm gonna need a little bit more. There, and that should do it. You can still see the individual packs, but you can't see the different cells in each pack. Lily, Lily, come on. Come on, kids. You ain't gonna mess with them anyway. Lily, come on. Where'd Daisy go? Come on, Lily. Lily, come on, back here. Look, they see. There they are. If we're gonna put a bale of hay on So here's the new cows. We haven't had cows in the pasture for about a year now, I think, maybe even longer. We got six of them. Four brown, two black. We can't let them right out in the pasture because they're kind of new to it 
and they might just want to run right through the fence. So we put them in here to kind of get acclimated, and then later on today we'll let them out. We just let them out of the round pen. We're just checking the things out at this point. Because we've been running out of room in our greenhouses, we actually had to start taking wagons and filling them up. And then at night, it's been getting too cold, so we had to put them in our shed and in our garage. So in our garage here, you can see we have a wagon full of lettuce and Prince Tuts. And then on this side, we have the hollyhocks and some of our, not early cabbage, I guess this is the retail cabbage, so it's not for our field. But now that it's been sitting in here for two days because it's been so cold, it's gotta get out, it needs some sun, and it should probably have some water. Okay, getting this in here. Let's see if I have an issue getting it out. This side looks good. That one's good. Here we go. Beautiful. Dad got the plows hooked up on the tractor. You can see it's got some surface rust on it since it hasn't been used since last year. Now for the last wagon. This is our field cabbage and cauliflower, broccoli, all that kind of stuff. And because he's using the International and the John Deere is hooked up to the plow, I'm gonna have to use the case. Start, neutral, here we go. So close. Dad and I just got all of our carts on the truck and got it pulled over here. So, like I said, we're not exactly sure how we want to set this up, but this is something about how it's gonna look. We have a lot of straps just because we don't really want these carts shaking at all going down the road. And so everything's really secured. We're not 100% sure if we're gonna wanna take these off when we get to market or leave them on and just have somebody unload them. I don't exactly know yet, but that's what we're gonna get figured out. At least though for now, the truck is over here and it's ready to go for tomorrow. This is the van that we used to use. If you've been following along with my channel, you'll know that. And we still do use it. Mom's actually loading it right now for the market because obviously we don't need that huge thing. So, I don't know what she's got in the back. Just a good variety of flowers and vegetables. I don't really see any herbs. I love the mixed marigolds. Here comes mom now with another flat of Gerber daisies. They're beautiful. Yes, they are. Mom and I just got out here to the market. You can see we're getting this pretty filled up now. A lot of our planters are out here. I was telling mom, you can't even see the pot anymore. It's so full. Back in this corner is like all of our herbs. Then we have all of our Prince Tuts. Earlier on, we brought all this stuff out here just because we were trying to make room back home. And now a lot of this stuff can go back now that we're going to market. Same thing with all these daisies here. And then in the middle, she's just trying to get a big variety of the pansies, violas, petunias, snapdragons. Here's all of our strawberries. I just got back from the market. Dad's out in the field right now plowing. Let's go out and see how he's making out. Looks wetter than I thought. It actually is kind of beautiful. On these side hills, you can only plow one direction. So it looks like he's coming back this way, right through here, and he's going then out in that top field. I don't know if he's gonna be plowing this whole thing or what, but I guess he knows that, I don't.
nose again. It's a little dusty. It's about 4.30. Mom and I have been watering for about the past hour, getting everything touched up. And now the sun is starting to go down. We don't really want to water no more. It's not good for the plants to lay that wet overnight. And it's good for the floors to dry out. So she right now is working on trimming some plants, specifically the calibacopa. Mom told me she wants to fertilize out at the market tomorrow. So I need to mix up some fertilizer for her. Specifically a 17-4-17 mixture. And what this does is if the plants are getting a little bit yellow, it'll green them up. I think it will make them grow a little bit too, but it's mostly for making them look really healthy and green again, rather than making them grow and get tall. The reason we don't want anything to grow anymore at this point is because the flowers are to the height we want them at and they're starting to bloom. And basically if they get higher and start to stretch, what's gonna happen is they're gonna have no backbone and the plants just might wanna fall over and they're not gonna look as nice as what they do now. 